Public Relations. I am Eleanor Amato, your Public Relations Department of Florida Chairman. First of all, I'd like to introduce to you my committee, Patricia Delgado and Patricia Whitehall. Both of these ladies were exceptional and really, really helped. Sometimes they helped a little bit too much, but that's okay. Okay, first of all, what I'm going to do is go over the public uh, plan of action. So if you don't have it handy, run and get it. Shut me off for a while. Run and get it and come back and we'll go over it. If you have any questions, you could ask me anytime during this presentation. Maybe I'll answer you if I hear you. Okay, public relations program. The auxiliary's positive public image and excellent reputation in the community is no accident. Public relations works to establish and maintain goodwill within the organization and with the general public. It promotes the auxiliary's many worthwhile programs, events, activities, and accomplishments through every available medium. Public relations pre performs a dual function. Doing things well, making sure that the public is aware of the efforts and the results ensures continued community support and awareness of the auxiliary programs and encourages women who qualify to join along with their male that could join, that qualified. Okay, basically, your public relations is before the event, during the event, and after the event. After the event, who are you giving your friends to? Okay, what can you do? Build brand loyalty. Right here. Everywhere you go, you should, you should where you're branding. Believe me, many times I'm in a store and someone comes up to me and says, what's that mean? What does that mean? Who are you? What do you do? And one time I had a gentleman who had a military hat on. I handed him a application for membership. Use of a variety of public relations material and resources available that are online. Give an auxiliary magazine ideas. Give an auxiliary magazine gift subscription to your local library and doctor's office. Distribute American Legion auxiliary brochures and posters in the community, libraries, job fairs, medical facilities, and post homes. Wear your official branding. Be prepared to answer when asked who the auxiliary is and what we do in your community and why we matter. Develop a list of local media contacts for your unit to use. Build a relationship with your local media and political figures to educate them on how, uh, uh, excuse me, on who we are what we do and why we matter. And that really, really helps. Contact your local paper, and when you contact your local paper, get their name, their phone number, their private number, their private extension, and always, always thank them for the article that they put in the newspaper because that really, really helps. Write a letter to the editor or a news release for patriotic holidays and events. Do you know that in the Nationals website for uh, public relations, they have all these tools for you. All you have to do is fill in the blank. Unit number, city, event, the date, the time, they're all in there. Same with, same with proclamations. I asked for a proclamation, they says we don't do that. I didn't realize there was a sample proclamation there, and all I had to do was fill it out, give it to the secretary, she went and she 
not our secretary, the secretary where he wanted to go. Otherwise, we would be going crazy, wouldn't we? Okay, the member, promote auxiliary events on your personal social media accounts. And we know how to do that because I get them. You know our department's social media Facebook page is. If you're not on this, you better copy this down. FL for Florida, ALA for American Legion Auxiliary, space public relations. You could do it in caps, you could do it in lowercase, it doesn't matter, it pops up. Put your event on there, you wait for approval, I look at it, and I go and I prove it. But it cannot be something for some other organization. It needs to be for the American Legion Auxiliary. Not for the writers, not, they have their own page, not for the post. It has to be for a unit. Make sure you put the unit, uh, the post address or where the event is going to be along with the address. What is public relations activity? Newspaper articles, meeting notices, and community calendar events. Social media postings of the mission related events. Distribute, distribution of the ALA brochures, websites, television networks, and they have community calendars. Have you ever, if you have a Channel 13, have you ever seen a community calendar going on there? Perfect place for us. The radio, public service announcements, there are local, uh, local radio stations that will be glad to have you on their radio. YouTube, we know what that is. Magazines, Department of Florida, American Legion, Auxiliary Magazines, don't forget mail call. Veterans Organizations Magazines such as Bivouac, they'll take anything you have. Bivouac33 at gmail.com and that's B as a boy, I, B as in Victor, O, U, A, C as in Charlie, 33 at gmail.com and television coverage. With so many promotional opportunities available, every unit should be reporting public relations activities. TV news tips. Getting to know your TV producer and assignment editors. Knowing the meeting schedule. Send your information after your call. Always include your cell phone number. Offer visuals and interviews and say thank you. There are, there's more in the paragraphs, but I don't need to read them, you need to read them. Our emblem is the main identifier, identifier of our organization and is one of our most valuable assets at the American Legion Auxiliary. Over the course of 100 years of history, our emblem has remained unchanged and has become well known with our organization. We must preserve and perpetuate this. The ALA emblem in print and online is governed by national headquarters to ensure correct and proper use. Your printers cannot use clip art. If a local unit, post, or department wishes to use the emblem on a newly designed graphic, a letter of request for approval must be sent to the National Sec Secretary's attention. Permission to reproduce the emblem is confined to those activities and en enlisted in emblem usage. Now tell, if you're going to go and get shirts for your unit and your unit has 200 people and you want to order, let's say, 100 shirts, or you want to get permission to use the emblem for 100 shirts, Ask for two or three, because if you run out, or if you sold the hundred, then you're going to have to go back and ask for permission again. So the best thing for you to do is to get permission for more. They're not going to say you need to go and buy 300 shirts. They're just going to, you don't have to go in there and ask them for permission again. Here's something that I was very, very surprised about. Emblem use on grave markers. Did you know that we have a grave marker for auxiliary members? 
Grade markers from the American Legion flag and emblem sales does not require approval of the National Secretary. The use of the American Legion auxiliary emblem on grade markers purchased from outside sources requires approval from both the Department Secretary and the National Secretary. The following information is required. The full name and address of the member, name and number of the unit which she belongs, verification that she was a member in good standing at the time of her death, and the name and address of the manufacturer of the grade marker. If the manufacturer is unknown, the name and address of the interment must be sent. Approval of the ALA emblem on a grade marker on a pre neat basis, one of two conditions must be met. She must have been a member of the ALA for at least 20 second consecutive years. That's if you're going to go and ask for it before the person dies, before you do not have to be a member for 20 years. She must be paid up for life member, regardless of the length of her consecutive membership. It must be one or the other. And if the member is deceased and the request is made by her family, the member must have been a paid up for life member at the time of her death. This is in your plan of action. For further information, you could go on the national website, which is alaforveterans.org. If you are not a uh, member of this website, it's very easy to join. All you need to do is have your membership number, put it in there, and your information. And I believe you need to put your email address on there. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, but anyhow, it's a good resource for you. The placing of your gravesite emblem. ALA emblem should always be displayed at the top of any production with nothing placed above it, except in some rare instances, the American flag is permissible to be placed above our emblem. For more information, go to Members Only and click the Member Resources, then Branding Guide, page 8, will discuss the colors. And that is alaforveterans.org. Okay, they do have a form there for emblem use. It's very, very easy to fill out. Okay, another thing that I want to discuss with you today is working with minors. You think that just because the minor came in with her grandmother that it's okay to take her picture. Then her mother sees it in the newspaper and has a fit, okay? Don't include photos with with minors without first getting parental consent. Very important. Get signed parental consent, and when possible, get permission from the parents or guardian each time you use the images. Don't take photographs that focus on one child or are, are close up of their faces. Do use photographs that include many minors in the photograph. Okay, we're going to discuss awards now. The Department of Florida Public Relations Chairman presents one unit chairman in each membership grouping, which are six, for outstanding public relations programs. Your deadline to submit is May 1st, 2021, and you send that to me. Eleanor Amato at 892 Catfish Avenue, New Smyrna Beach, Florida, 32169. The full uh, ruling is in there. This is basically like a press book. Okay. It gives you all the instructions on the Facebook. Do not send press book to national or southern division chairman. Very important. National awards. There's quite a few national awards for units. Okay, a member award. ALA brand ambassador. It's given to a member. Unit award. 
I'm not going to read this all to you because it's long. There's another unit award for a pu uh, public relations team for the centennial celebration and another unit award for active public relations team centennial per division. So there's quite a few of them. Please look them up and let's get Florida on stage for that. Okay, now I'm going to give you my report for public relations. We had a wonderful year, and this year, and it is because of the communication on the unit level. Who doesn't like to see their name in lights? I know I do. As a result, the Department of Florida had over 1,900 pictures posted on Facebook, and we have a total of 603 members on our page. I asked for 600 by Christmas this year, and we made it already. You think we should shoot for 700 by Christmas? Pass the word around. Our Facebook page is FLALA Public Relations. Department received a total of 41 entries for the public relations scrapbook narrative. There are 21 proclamations made in our state, along with birthday wishes from Governor Ron DeSantis. We are still celebrating the auxiliary 100 year anniversary. This is our second chance. If your unit didn't do a celebration last year, plan one this year and remember, big or small, invite the mayor, councilman, dignitary, and picture it and send it to the newspaper. It doesn't have to be a party. Did you help clean the posts? Didn't you do it to help the Legion? How about a bus stop bench or a plaque in the Veterans Park? There are so many things we could do. Be creative. Florida Public Relations gave our members a challenge during this pandemic crisis. Send the names of the members who are making masks for the frontline heroes to Florida Public Relations, and your name will be put in a drawing for a beautiful handmade jewelry set made by Kathy Helmer. Drawing will be done at full conference. We have a total of 26 in the drawing Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your talent. This past year, public relations created biographies for each chairman and officer and published the bio in our newsletter called Mail Call. Our members were able to put the face with the chairmanship. In ending, the Facebook public relations page was and still is a success. It has proven to be a great education page, as well as keeping in touch with our entire department. Keep up the good work and remember, I am here for you. Okay, now it's time for our public relations awards. Group one, Tampa, unit five, Patricia Delgado. Thank you, Pat. Peppermint Patty, she's known as. Group two, Jacksonville, Unit 88, Nancy Tosca. Thank you, Nancy. Unit three, I mean, group three, I'm sorry. Pine Castle, 286, Robin Schillhammer. Group four, Treasure Island, Unit 158, Liz Close. Group five, Lehigh Acres, 323, Patricia Weibel. Okay. Group six, Dunedin, Unit 275, everybody's friends, Sharon Damsgaard. Okay. 
The Dorothy Duke Award, Press Book. This award is sponsored by Melbourne Unit 163. It is awarded to the unit which submitted the press book which is judged best around. This award will be given to a member who never missed a week. She continuously placed our organization in her community with her editorials. I'm going to cry. I am so honored to present this award to Patricia Whitehall, Unit 323, Lehigh Acres. Thank you, Patricia. She had a hard time. Her husband just recently passed away, but she still sent her editorial in. She does a fantastic job, and I'm so proud to have her on our team. Thank you, Patricia. I didn't forget, we have a raffle for the challenge raffle for masks. I have this earring and necklace that says Quarantine Queen, made by Kathy Helmley. And 26 people went and sent in their name. And I will draw out a name, and I'm not cheating because they're all folded. And it goes to Becky Brazil in the Department of Alabama. Thank you.